Write in the mail, MS sex games from Japan. Collecting without fail, those shoot 'em ups, and that's the plan. He doesn't just collect them, he also codes them too. Join us and we'll go on electric adventures with you. Hey YouTube, Electric Adventures here with a pick up and play video. Um, more items from what I call my shelf of shame, so they're games that I've got in previous pickups um, from Japan um, that ended up on a particular shelf. Now I recorded the original unboxing, so these games I'm, I'm, I'm sort of grouping them by system and playing a lot of games that I'm interested in rather than what the original boxes that came in because I lost that original uh, pickup footage. Um, I'm sure that doesn't hurt, you don't really need to see me uh, take stuff out of boxes. Um, and uh, surprisingly, on the shelf of shame, I actually found some MSX games. Uh, which, considering MSX is one of my, you know, number one collections and fashion items, uh, I'm very surprised at myself. So, we have a couple of loose cartridges first. Uh, first game I know n absolutely nothing about this one. It's called Stepper. It was distributed by ASCII Corporation. Uh, ASCII, obviously, they were the originators of the MSX standard. Um, and titles from them uh, can let's put it this way, very, very greatly. Um, they have um, quite a few, uh, you know, quite decent games, but then you've got other ones that um, uh, are pretty much compiled basic ones in a cartridge. So, Step Up. Don't know anything about that one. I've never even seen any screenshots. Um, next one, and the label is quite faded. You're going to have to look carefully there. But it's actually, it says Zayda there, and the full title is Zayda Battle of Pegasus. Um, and it's actually a shooting game, so I do know a little bit about that one. Uh, although it's very, very weird. Uh, next game, also from ASCII Corporation, we have Car Race, which looks to be some form of top-down car racing game. Um, and this one's complete with a box in quite good condition. Um, there is a man. Is there a menu under there? No, I don't think there is. Um, we have the cartridge. I'll just take the cartridge out. It doesn't seem to be a menu in there. This is a particular ASCII release. They're of varying quality. And as you can see, a different format from the um, stepper cartridge. So, car and race. And last but not least is 3D Golf Simulation from t and &E Soft. t and &E Soft also brought out quite a few different uh, software titles. So this one, it's a um, not real graphics on the back there. We've just got a, a drawn picture of the golf course. Um, inside, no manual with this one. I'm just happy to have a box. Quite a nice um, looking uh, cartridge label though. So, no, absolutely, pretty much nothing about these titles. So the best way we can find out about them is grab out the MSX, um, plug them in and give them a play. So let's go do that now. So here we go with Stepper. Um, I've just um, plugged it in uh, to see if the controls work. Uh, it looks quite interesting, quite colourful too. Yeah, except can't get it to work fully from the joystick. Might be my joystick playing up again though. Okay, so on this little little dude, um, it's, it pauses until you move. Okay, we've got to try and get these stars. You can also pick up these apples and then you can throw an apple and that also destroys scenery, so you've got to be careful with that. I have no idea how you get that one. Oh, I see, and that made the apple fall. And you can't jump on one of the latter ones. But once you've got the last star, um, once you've got the last star, the exit opens up somewhere down the bottom. And it's got a repetitive but not too annoying tune. You just fall down there. 
and some nice success music. So I've, I said, I've never heard of this one before. Uh, now the second level is a bit harder. Now once you've got the apple, you've got to be careful because you can't actually jump again. I could rid of both of those, and you've got a certain amount of time before they reappear. Mm. You can jump over them, thank goodness. You get obviously a reasonable bonus for Got him. Uh -oh. Okay, let's get up to this top section. Pretty random where they reappear. Now, to our last star. And then we've got to get out of here. Oh, and they can fall in the holes. That's cool. Yeah, and look at that. We would not be able to get through here unless I had thrown one of those apples. No bonus. Interesting. I wonder what he got. Well, maybe I reckon if you've got apples left. Oh god. I'll get out of here first. God, the, the, that blue one's aggressive. Oh, that got me. And if you die, you've got to start the level again. That makes it really hard. <laughs> mm, I think I need to go and get that second apple. So it definitely gets faster quite quickly. Ah, oh, you can't jump anywhere where there's a ladder. Still got lives left. You get a few lives though, I will say that, that's quite good. So I reckon we've got yeah we've got to we've got to put a hole through here like that. Otherwise we'll never. Oh god, really made a mistake now. Otherwise we'll never get that star. Come on, come down. Now hopefully I can escape out this side. Hey, there we go. Now there's one 
an apple left, do we get a bonus? No, okay. I'll have to work out what the bonus is. So, I actually quite like puzzle games like this, where you've got a... Oh. Um, you know, this is in a way a bit like Low Run. No. So these dotted ones, when you pass through them once, they go solid. Um, Alright, well I'll leave it at that, because that's actually, um, that is actually quite a surprising little puzzle game. Never heard of it before, um, and a very, very interesting game. Alright, excellent. Let's try our next game. Alright, we've quite a um, musical intro. We have Zeta Battle of Pegasus. Um, once again, having a little trauma joystick, so I'll play this for keys. Makes it a bit harder. Especially since the fire buttons are Z and X. So you start out sort of like in on land mode. And then you can go flying. things. Damage seems to fade over time. Oops, oh, and then game over. Now it does have a different mode which I'll I'll we'll have a quick look at. Back on the deer, start again. Now if I don't move and press space bar, then I'm a, a, a dude running around, right?
seem to get killed quite quickly on the ground. So it's probably something I'm doing wrong there, but um, an interesting game that deserves a little bit more of a play and a bit of a look just to figure out what in the world is going on. Alright, let's try the next game. Right, so here we go with Car Race. A bit of a repetitive loop happening now. I really think my joystick's playing a key to play. Whoa. <laughs> That's a bit mean. So your fuel leaks out of your out of your car super quick unless you're moving. That was fuel. Well I'll talk about a mean car game. And the other drivers are absolute crazy. Dodging. I've just been moved there. Give me some more fuel, you. Ah! Wow. This is a. It finds a new standard of meanness in games. chance of getting fuel unless it comes down right where you happen to be and there's no This is evidence that all systems, no matter how good they are, have some rubbish games. God, my, this is barely acceptable as a cartridge. I mean, if you had to pay full price for this back in the day and take it at home, I'm sure you would have been rightly so pissed off. You've wasted your money. Um, yes, probably, um, worst MSX game I have, yeah, definitely, uh, nice and colourful though, alright, let's try the next game, right, here we go with a 3D golf simulation, um, so this is for ordinary MSX, I actually quite like golf games, um, regardless of the era they came out in, I can usually be quite fun. So this is using some of the um, 
inbuilt drawing routines, which, you know, even though it takes a little time to draw, um, is actually quite an efficient way of storing courses. Okay, so we're supposed to be doing something now. Or is it thinking? There we go, it was thinking. So it is actually 3D, so it's giving us an outlook of where we're standing down the course, which is quite impressive. It is taking a little while though, so perhaps this is a uh, title written in MSX Basic, which has been put onto a cartridge. There we go, we have our club we can change. Okay, we'll go one wood, because it's got 370 metres. Um, yeah, I reckon we can go straight down. Uh, what do you reckon? In the middle or up the top? Well, there's the ball. If you see in the bottom right there. And we've gone completely off to one side, and we're going to go out of bounds. There is a bit of wind. It's going to give us another chance. And that drew the um, ball path up there as well. Okay, it's taking the ball off now. It is very slow. Um, I am running this on an MSX2 Plus, so let's cheat a little bit. I've turned the turbo on. There we go. So this is with turbo on. Let's see if it makes any difference. Ah, oh, so we're going to play right from the edge of the boundary where we went off. Great. Okay. Far, but at least we stayed, even if we're in the rough, we stayed on the course. Oh, it takes a while to do this bit. So, very interesting, um, a very ambitious game, uh, definitely written in basic and uh, not much machine code going on here. It's all You can tell it's using all the inbuilt basic routines and it's just been um, assembled and put in a cartridge. Um, yeah, not too bad. Alright, well that's actually uh, not a bad lot of MSX games. Um, obviously you're going to get some good ones and some bad ones and any sort of um, uh, random pickups like this. Um, probably this um, golf game is a little bit too ambitious uh, for what it's been written in on the hardware. Um, uh, so yeah, there are better ga golf games on the MSX. I hope you've enjoyed looking at these new MSX titles with me. Um, I'm Electric Adventures, thanks to all my subscribers, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.